All right. Okay. So Gabriel, um, I want to go back to uh, the uh, the discussion with regards to the sleepers of Ephesus and Zulkarnain. So we did talk about the sleepers of Ephesus, but we have to touch a little bit upon Zulkarnain. Um, there are a lot of theories going around uh, with regards to who the historical, who was the real Zulkarnain. Uh, I remember that Abdullah Yusuf Ali in his translation of the Quran, uh, he had a huge commentary that he feels that it may have been Alexander the Great. The great uh, Muslim, uh, Indian Muslim scholar Abul Kalam Azad feels that it might have been Cyrus the Great. And then there was one other prominent uh, Islamic cleric named Dr. Yasser Qadi who feels that it may have been Darius the Great. So a lot of great, great, great people. Um, is there any one particular um, theory that you lean towards? I personally seem to go with Cyrus the Great because he was a figure that was known to the Jews of Medina and uh, he obviously has a very prominent place in the Hebrew Bible. But what is your opinion on who could have been the historical Zulkarnay? Yes, so my opinion is certainly that it's Alexander. And uh, there, I know there's some controversy in certain circles because the historical Alexander was almost certainly a polytheist and a pagan, whereas Dunqarnain is presented in the Quran as uh, a monotheist um, and a servant of God. So, um, but it's what happens in between that matters, because in late antiquity, in the Christian period, uh, to use maybe sort of funny language, Alexander is baptized by Christians. And even though he lived before Christ, he's understood to have anticipated the coming of Christ and Christian teaching. And so he becomes, in especially in Syriac writings, uh, a holy figure. And in uh, uh, in texts such as the Alexander legend, um, uh, a Syriac text known as the Nashana, he travels to the end of the world, he travels to the north, where Gog and Magog are. Uh, and so it's, it's very close to what we find about the Qarnayn in the Quran. Um, yeah, so I think it's pre pretty clear for, from my point of view. Uh, but I've been wrong many times before, so who knows. Uh, but the really, there's been really good studies by Kevin Van Bladel uh, of Yale University and Tommaso Tezei on the relationship between the Syriac Alexander and the Qarnayn in the Quran. 